Let's learn about Africa. Africa is Earth's second largest continent, both in how much land it has and in how many people live there. It has a huge Sahara Desert in the north, a belt of rainforests and tropical grasslands in the middle, and the Kalahari Desert and temperate grasslands and forests in the south. Africa has more kinds of megafauna than any other continent. Megafauna means big animal. There are animals where the adults are heavier than a hundred pounds, like us, humans. Humans started in Africa, and we've lived in Africa for about a hundred thousand years longer than we've lived anywhere else. A lot of megafauna live in the grasslands of eastern Africa, especially in the Serengeti Plain and Ngorongoro Crater. Here you can find huge herds of wildebeests, as well as zebras. Giraffes, rhinoceroses, and the largest living land animal, the African bush elephant. In the Central African rainforests, there are smaller African forest elephants, as well as gorillas, and the rare shy okapi. It looks like a forest zebra, but it's actually more closely related to giraffes. The most dangerous animal in Africa is the hippopotamus. They eat plants, but they are very territorial, which means they fight anything that comes close to their river homes, even people. There are lots of cats that live in Africa. The biggest are lions and leopards. Cheetahs are the fastest runners in the animal kingdom. They can sprint as fast as a car drives on a freeway, but only for a very short way before they get tired. There are several smaller kinds of cats, like servals, caracals, and sand cats. Sand cats are the only kind of cat that primarily lives in deserts. They come out at night when the air and sand are cooler and hunt for food. They eat things like rodents, birds, lizards, and venomous snakes. Aren't they cute? Animals have to be tough to survive in the hot, dry Sahara Desert. But a few thousand years ago, it wasn't so hard to live there. Humans carved petroglyphs of animals like this giraffe about ten thousand years ago, when what's now desert was grassland, more like what the Serengeti is now. Over a few thousand years, the land dried out. The animals and people either learned to survive in the desert or moved to other places. But the desert isn't entirely deserted. Where there's water, people use it to grow food. One very fertile and interesting place is along the Nile River in Egypt. The Nile is the world's longest river. It starts in the highlands of East Africa, bringing a reliable source of water to the desert. For thousands of years, people in Egypt have used the Nile River to make an amazing civilization. They built pyramids, created beautiful works of art, and developed one of the world's earliest ways of writing. Another civilization in the Sahara was the Garamantian Kingdom. About two thousand years ago, the Garamantes built cities in the middle of the desert by making long tunnels to underground water sources called aquifers. South of the desert, in sub-Saharan Africa, there were several other civilizations. Some of the amazing ancient cities you can still see are Meroe in Sudan, Timbuktu in Mali. And Great Zimbabwe in Zimbabwe. The biggest rainforest in Africa is the Congo. The Congo is the second biggest rainforest in the world. The Congo River that runs through it is the world's deepest river. It's at least six hundred and fifty feet deep in some places, so it's almost as deep as this skyscraper is tall. Scientists figured out the river was really deep when the river's fast currents brought up fish that didn't have eyes or any pigment in their skin. These fish have adapted to survive strong water pressure, just like fish that live in the deep ocean. Speaking of fish from the deep, in the year 1938, a scientist from a museum in South Africa saw a large, beautiful fish that a fisherman had caught in the Indian Ocean. The scientist didn't know what kind of fish it was, but she knew it was really special. 
She showed it to an ichthyologist, a scientist who studies fish, who recognized it as a coelacanth. The thing is, scientists thought the coelacanth had gone extinct with the dinosaurs. Finding this kind of fish still alive was almost like finding a living pterodactyl. Coelacanths lived at the same time as dinosaurs like the Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus is the largest known meat-eating dinosaur. A full-grown Spinosaurus could be as long as a school bus. Spinosaurus fossils are found in the Sahara. They lived in rivers back when North Africa was much wetter. There's another famous fossil in Africa. This one isn't a dinosaur or a fish. It's not the fossil of a living thing at all. It was discovered in a uranium mine in Oklo, Gabon. Uranium is a very heavy metal. It's an element. Elements are the basic ingredients that everything is made of. Mixed in with the uranium in this mine, scientists found a weird mix of isotopes, which are elements that are heavier or lighter than normal, that could only be explained by a nuclear fission reaction. Uranium is so heavy that sometimes it breaks, turning into different elements and releasing lots and lots of energy. It's like if you had a piece of gold that suddenly got really hot and turned into silver. It's weird. People have used this weird property of uranium to make energy in nuclear power plants. The Oklo uranium deposit is the only place that we know of where sustained nuclear fission chain reaction happened naturally. And it happened a very long time ago, 1.7 billion years ago, making it a fossil nuclear fission reactor.